Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're in our series on blend mode. We're now moving on to soft light. So as a reminder, blend modes, there's a base layer at the bottom. There's a blend layer above that. There's a formula, which in this case is soft light. And that results in sort of a virtual layer of what you see. The soft light blend mode is the second one in the contrast group and the overlay and soft light are by far the most common ones to use so this is a very useful one the calculation overall i'm not going to go into this I'm going to go in, into this in another video but overall it says if the blend mode the layer at the bottom is darker in other words less than 0.5 then you use one calculation and if it's lighter greater than 0.5 then it's another one however in this there's a little thing here called g which means there's even more calculation with this, which is if the very dark one here, it's, it's, uh, this is the base of less than 0.25, which is the shadow area. So in other words, there's lots of calculation. And in fact, there are lots of alternative, different calculations of doing this. This one is the W3C one, but there are a bunch of others, which I'll cover in the video on the calculation. So, Key points about it, we'll find out first, let's go and do stuff. So a bit of practicality first. So what we're going to do here is going to put in a pixel layer above here. And a way to be able to change the quick pixel layer content quickly is if you turn the gradient tool on here and make sure the type then is solid, then any color you put in here will appear immediately in the whole thing. So you don't have to do a flood fill anyway. What we're going to do now is go here and go to the normal there and go down to soft light so we can see what's on here. And rather than the RGB sliders, let's go up to the HSL wheel because it does some useful things like we want. So then what we've got here then is a white overlay with this. And you can see it kind of like makes it a little bit foggy because what it's done, it's really flattened it. This actually makes it useful for things like doing high key images and so on. But you just it's a thing to note if you've got white in the layer above that you're going to get a flattening of colors. White is preserved, of course, as well. So if I change this then to black, when you've got black in the overall layer, see you've got this cut. It increases contrast a lot more up here and, of course, generally darkens it. And uh, this is the same the contrast modes, light, lights lighten and darks darken. And we can actually track it now from black all the way down to light and go back up to the middle. And in the middle, it's grey, it is transparent. And then if you go off into colours, you can see then, if it's got a you know, stream red, you've got a very much a heavy tinting. But if you put a light colour, and particularly around the middle bit here, because if you go around to the, the whiter end, you get that that sort of... It's almost like it's a bit muddy, but it's too flat. And if you go to that end there, it's a bit dark, up the uh, darks. So somewhere in the middle, so a bit start at grey and go backwards from grey into colour. And you get something that's a bit more usable. And you can, of course, also use things like the opacity slider here. OK, so let's just go back to this. So some key points about it. It increases contrast, you know, blacks dark in there and white by itself flattens it lightens things but you get this sort of flattening effect it is a, in many ways a softer form of overlay you'd put an overlay on something and you put a soft light and it's almost like it's like an overlay turned down but not always and uh, it has been described as it's like shiny a soft light on a, uh, an image it's like a diffuse soft light it's a way of thinking about it Middle grey is, of course, like other contrast modes, invisible, so you don't see it. And typical uses uses things like this, blending, tinting, colour grading, kind, low-key, glow, uh, softening, skin, lighting, dodge and bird. And we'll be doing some of these in the... Uh, what we're going to do, we'll do a number of examples of how to use the soft light. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.